Look at that big one. I know, I know, I know. It's all right, Miss Toad. I think this is the first one we're gonna target here. That is the biggest tick I have ever seen. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Cracker, don't be making any noise. We're trying to do a proper intro here. It is raining here in South Florida. It is the rainy season, it is springtime, and we can't really go outside, but that's totally fine because today we have an important task. If you guys saw one of the last videos, this rain has been bringing out all of the amphibians in South Florida, and specifically at the zoo, we have had a huge problem with toads and tadpoles. Cane toads taking over our different crocodile and alligator ponds and all the other water features and the other animal enclosures. We took care of those problems, but now we have another issue and that is our cane toad friend that we brought home with us has ticks and we need to set up an enclosure for this friend we need a name for this friend and we also need to remove these ticks from our little friend miss toad so let's go see how she's doing so look at this guys this is just crazy we've pulled her out and the ticks are even bigger than before the legs aren't even on the toad at all. It's just the mouth that is locked into the skin and is absorbing all of the bodily fluids from this toad. I can't say the word exactly that what they're eating, these ticks, what they feed off of this animal because I don't think YouTube really allows that word. They definitely don't allow me to show it. There are all sorts of tiny ticks that are even harder to see. Look at these big giant guys here. Just nasty stuff. Ticks are a huge issue for dogs, cats, even people can get them. So we want to take care of this issue soon. We've had the toad in this box and this box has a bunch of ticks inside of it. So we're really going to have to clean this box, deep clean it and make sure it's tick free before Maverick is out here and around this whole area. I also don't want my other reptiles or anything else getting ticks because it's a huge issue. Although this toad is an invasive species, it doesn't deserve to suffer with these ticks on it and hopefully they haven't spread any diseases. Here you go, little lady. We're gonna put you back for now. I really gotta clean my hands and probably gonna wear gloves for when we extract these ticks later because I do not wanna spread any ticks to any other animals in my collection. As you guys saw, we've caught this toad from the zoo originally, and now at the zoo, this toad could have spread these ticks and diseases along with it all over the zoo. So removing those tadpoles from the zoo and from the ponds like we did in the last video is very important, and this is exactly the reason why we had to do so. So this is a really good way to follow up. I didn't think we are gonna find the big mama toad covered in ticks especially, but this is a perfect example of what can happen if those tadpoles weren't removed. So first, what we have to do is set up a quarantine enclosure for this poor girl here. We're going to get some moss, we're gonna get some gravel, and you guys are just gonna have to see, and then maybe after we pull those ticks off of her and get her settled in here, we might be able to feed her one of these big worms here. So that could be really cool, but let's get this tank set up. We have got a bunch of gravel here. Oh. This is the first step. I'm gonna take a bunch of this gravel, which is gonna be our base layer, and we're putting dirt on the top. So what this is gonna do is act as our drainage layer for this system. This is a smaller enclosure for the toad, but the toads don't really move around too much, so they really don't need so much space because they kind of want a little safe place to be tucked away. As long as that big girl is fed and moist, she'll be happy. Now that we've got the good gravel drainage layer, we can take this out because we've got our little place setting with the gravel down there. And we have some Eco Earth, which is just this shredded coconut fiber, really retains moisture for amphibians. It's probably some of the best stuff out there. Going to sprinkle this on in there. Our third layer on the top is going to be this sphagnum moss. This also retains moisture and is a really comfy bedding for him to be sitting in. So we're gonna put a real thick layer into here. And now the enclosure is about done. You know, most people when they set up a habitat for these toads, they put a hide in the enclosure. I don't really have anything on hand as a hide, so I think the whole enclosure is just going to go in a dark space so that the toad is comfortable at least for the time being while she's getting settled into the new spot. She's also in a quarantine to where 
she can't really be around my other animals. I don't want her to be so close. There could be little ticks that we miss in removing the ticks off of her. So what we're doing right now is spraying down the enclosure, trying to clean up the glass a little bit aesthetically, trying to make it look a little bit nicer. And we just spray all this moss have it leach down into the coconut fiber layer. So the tank is all ready to go and now we literally just opened the lid to this box and just around the lid we found four or five baby ticks. These ticks have been spreading over the past day or so. We've got a couple on the plastic. They're kind of hard to pick up with the tweezers, but this whole box is going to have to be decontaminated from the ticks. This poor toad is really thin. You can see that she's been affected by these ticks heavily. And look at this tick that has fallen off. I don't know if this thing is alive still. It's not dried up, so I'm sure it is alive. Look how big this thing is. This thing is totally max capacity. It is absorbed with all sorts of goodness, I guess for him, from the toad, latched on to the toad and just sucking away, taking from the poor toad. I don't really know how the toad feels it, but I know the toad is directly affected, especially if these guys have a disease. This guy is going straight into the rubbing alcohol. I am sorry, buddy, but you cannot be around here anymore. Oh my goodness, that thing is massive. That is the biggest tick I have ever seen. Grab this girl here and get her on the table. So we haven't even taken any ticks off of the toad yet and still, we already have about eight ticks, including that huge mama in there. We're gonna have to wipe down this whole operating table. Any little black speck here, I'm just putting into the alcohol because I have no idea if it's a little tick or if it's just a speck of dirt, but all of it going into there just in case because we don't want it spreading around through the garage. Not really a other place that I could do this at. Let's get the first one off this front foot. I know, girl. I know, I know, I know. It's all right, Miss Toad. It's all right, it's okay. I know this is stressful, but it's gonna be so much better once these ticks are off of you. But I think this is the first one we're gonna target here. I'm gonna try to get a, next to this mouth. So we really wanna get this head out of here because it can get stuck in the toad and they can also regurgitate and that is what can transfer the bacteria into the toad. All right, all right, let's just pull here. I'm trying to be gentle, but also do it pretty firm. It's a weird feeling trying to do this. I know, Miss Toad. There we go. That's the first tick there. Let's see, did we get the head off? I believe that we've got the whole thing there. Straight into the alcohol. Probably gonna start tingling there. First tick off of the toad. Oh wow, we have a tick right there, right in the front. Look at that big one. Just crazy how many are on this. Poor girl. This is a smaller one, maybe not latched in as hard. Oh, there we go. Just like that. I don't wanna get any rubbing alcohol onto the toad. They're amphibians, they absorb water and other things through their skin. So if I hold the toad barehanded, which I picked her up earlier just to briefly show you guys, and my hands are clean, but they can absorb all sorts of oils, everything from our hands. So it's better that we wear the gloves and we also don't touch her with anything that could be irritating if not fatal to the toad we're gonna go in for these big ones here i know girl i know i'm sorry let's get the big boy first you have just been gorging yourself off this poor lady toad there we go oh my goodness look at the size of that thing if we were to pop this whole bunch of red juice would come out of there. We are almost done with the big ones, don't worry. Then we got some little ones all over the back that we're gonna have to try to wipe off. I don't really know how latched in those are. There we go, oh. Just got this nice one off. You're going in there as well. Ooh, this is a dirty job that nobody wants to do. I, okay, last big one here. There we go. Look at that. So many massive ticks. You can see she's all fat now. You see how she's bloated? It's because she's afraid. What she wants to do, if you guys saw in the last video where we found her and I showed you these glands up here, these glands are filled with a toxin. But 
she's wanting to bloat herself up, have something, a predator like me, what she thinks I'm doing, bite down on her and squeeze these big shoulder blades that have that toxin in it. We've got to clean you up a little bit here, but that is the majority of the work, girl. Now, we've got to get these little guys. Look how tiny. See all of these little black dots here? These are all baby ticks. The ones that you can barely see because look at the colors on this toad. It's all mottled. There's a bunch of spots and speckling, but some of these spots that we're seeing here, right there, that's a baby tick. You're coming with me. Just got to go one by one and decipher every square inch of this big beautiful girl and try to see what is a parasite and what is part of her pattern this tick is like so small here i don't even know if i could get it in the tweezer oh there we go got it now what i don't want to do is put my tweezers in the alcohol touch the toad then i'm putting alcohol all over the toad so not trying to hurt the toad again trying my best here and if i'm doing something wrong guys i'm literally just trying my best to help so please don't yell at me in the comments. A little helpful tip for the future is always nice as well so that we can keep doing missions like this. Oh my goodness. Oh, are you ready to hop away because you're so happy? I think we're gonna call you Big Bertha. Bertha, are you happy? Guys, look how pretty this girl is. These guys get a lot of hate because they are really dangerous. Again, they are invasive down here in South Florida. The Bufo Toad or Cane Toad but they really do have a pretty pattern and look at their eye. That is one of the most beautiful eyes that I've ever seen. Just the colors and the pattern inside of it. That big lens that comes over her eye, it's so cool. Her nose, just to get this animal up close and show it to you guys is so cool. And guess what? She's all cleaned up now into your new enclosure. Let's go into a bath because I'm sure you're dehydrated. It's okay. I wanna be quiet here because I don't want her to take off running and jumping, but she's gonna sit in that water and she's gonna absorb some nice fresh water she hasn't had in a little bit. She was stuck in that big tube if you guys saw it. So now that we're wrapping this up, make sure to check out the video of how we caught this girl. Drop some name suggestions. I'm so happy that we are able to finish this procedure and I believe we got all of those little ticks off of her. If any of them remain, they'll get bigger, big enough for us to see them. I'll keep checking on her over the next couple days and we should find those. She is gonna be good in here quarantining for now. I'm so happy we could help her out. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and keeping these dreams possible. If you guys like this video, smash that like button, hit that notification icon so you'll be notified when I post. Subscribe to the channel to watch more animal crazy episodes and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.